Hey, Mike with Mike's Bags, and today I am reviewing the Tyrant by Titan Bags. Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll break this bag down. On the slow side of the Tyrant, we have this linen material. Same material you'll find on the slow side of the Reynolds Victory, the Psycho X, Widow X, the B3 Justice, the Corner Graphics Nympho, the Black Flag Hornswoggle. Uh, I, there's a lot of bags that use this. I've reviewed quite a few of them. It's a fairly popular material. Uh, the speed on this, and Titan rates it a 5. I agree with the 5. It's a 5 most in, in normal conditions, right? But this this bag does seem to um, uh, react to board conditions quite a bit. And it'll fluctuate in speed. So when boards get dry and fast, it'll speed up, play like a 6, maybe even a 7 sometimes on faster boards. When the board starts slowing down, especially when they get damp, sticky from, from humidity, you get that moisture on the boards. This material just comes to a stop, and it just won't move. It doesn't play. So it's definitely not a humidity-type bag. But it's a great bag for normal, dry, fast condition boards. But five speed, normal conditions on this. The fast side, this is the this is the same as the fast side of the uh, BG Viking, the Reynolds Pro Advantage. It's a seven speed material. It's very, it's it's fast but controllable. It's great for pushing through. It's a very soft, very friendly material. So we look at a five, seven speed on this bag. Template wise, uh, this is a... I'm gonna call it a small. This is probably a medium template, but it really it really feels like a small template because it's a fuller bag, right? There, there's 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 not a lot of flop here. This bag, this bag is pretty full, not very floppy at all. Um, you know, you can just see how puffy it is. It, it really feels like a carpet bag. You know, if you're if you're used to kind of those full those fuller smaller carpet bags, that's what the feel is of this bag. You get that 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 carpet bag feel to it. So if you're a carpet bag player and you're looking for a non carpet bag material. This may be the bag you're looking for. If you don't like a floppy bag, the Tyrant, it's, it's maybe what you're looking for. For the most part, I feel like Titan kind of has this smaller, fuller template. They do have some bags like the Devastator, which are bigger, floppier. But for the most part, most of their bags kind of have this fuller feel to them. Uh, the fill in this is, it, it, I think it's a mixed fill. It, it's got a lot of beads in there. I feel like it may have some flat fill. So it's got a good mix feel too. I like the fill in the bag. I like, I like the way it feels, I like the way it plays. Uh, I'm not a fan of the fullness of the back. I tend to like a little more flop in my bag, especially for my non-carpet bags. Let's go ahead and jump right into playability on this bag. And this is a bag that I I'm going to say it's a versatile bag because you can control this material. You can control this line of material and you can throw blockers up there when boards are in normal conditions. When boards get to playing fast, there's not a lot of control in this. It's just going to go hole for hole. You're run bags and run bags on the board for fast conditions but normal conditions you can slow this down you can throw blockers with it uh, it doesn't make um it makes it an okay blocker right the, the, the material is not sticky enough that when you throw blockers not necessarily going to kick bags off unless you've got humid conditions the boards are damp then it will get sticky enough and it will makes a great blocker but it's also very hard to collect almost impossible to collect but normal conditions dry conditions it, it, it's it's a fine blocker uh, the problem is it's not a very big bag so it's not taking up time space so when you put a blocker up there you know, it's pretty easy to get around one or the other. Uh, it's very, it's a very collectible bag because you have the full bag. You can come through as clip quarters, take them in. So it's easy for you to collect. So you can put a blocker maybe a little more over on your punch side if you want to, and then come down the middle, clip it, and take it in. Uh, the downsides of the bag, I would tell you, is is this slow side. And it's not just the bag, it's the material. Although the fullness of the bag does does lend to that. The, 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 this material, again, the humidity is one of the downsides. This material will kick on you. It has a kick to it. And with this full bead mixed fill in here, it has some movement, some balance. So there, this bag is going to kick on you. If you don't have a flat bag, you've got some tilt on it. The bag will kick. Now, as long as you're consistent with your tilt, you can play that kick. So if you know, you know, if you have a tilt and your bag is kicking right to left constantly, you can adjust your landing spot and play that and, and be fine with it. But the bag is going to kick on you. The other issue is this material does have a tendency to kind of want to hang on the hole unless it, the boards are fast. Fast boards, it doesn't. Normal boards, it does. I, I I do think the 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 mixed fill here helps that some. The problem is being a fuller template is I, the bag doesn't really want to grab that that hole and spin around and come in. Like it just kind of wants to scoot by there, which is why I tend to like a little more flop in my non carpet bags. I feel like a little more flop gives you a little more forgiveness around the hole. I, I talk about landing zones all the time, and and, and you know the kind of that that rectangle box you want to land your bags in to to put the bag in the hole. Floppier bags, larger floppier bags have a larger, wider landing zone. This bag is almost as smaller than normal. So if you're not really accurate and precise with your landing of the bag, you're going to have a hard time getting it to go in the hole because it, it's not it's not going to help you. Now, great. If you throw the bag correctly, it's going to the hole. If you make a mistake, it won't. 
The, the difference is some bags tend to make up those mistakes and will slide by and grab the hole and spin around. This bag, just because of the fullness of it, it, it just you can see when I'm holding it up, this corner is not dipping down like you want. A floppier bag, when it goes up there by the hole, that corner will dip down and grab it. This one I found would sometimes grab it, but it wants to spin and it'll just sit behind the hole, almost uncollectible. But, so the, the bag is not as forgiving, which is which is one of the things I didn't personally, I don't like about it. Doesn't mean that, that I don't want to knock the bag, so to speak, because like, some people like a fuller feeling bag. And that's, I think that this bag was not designed for me. This bag is, this bag just doesn't fall into what I like in a bag, what I'm looking for in a bag. But I think there are people out there that, that look for a bag. I, I get people all the time ask me, hey, what's a, what's a, what's a fuller feeling bag? What's a bag that's not floppy? You don't like a floppy bag. This is, this is right up your alley if that's what you're looking for. Um, but again, just be aware that you're going to, you're going to have to be a little more precise and more accurate landing. If you're going to have a flat bag with this material, otherwise it will kick on you. Like I said, again, the exception is fast boards. If you play around fast boards all the time, that kick goes away. The, 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 the hanging up on the hole goes the right way a little bit. Um, I will say that, that these bags, even though they're fuller, I didn't have an issue with them clogging the hole. They would bunch a little bit when I came to, to come through and collect, they would bunch. But if I had their bag, they kind of went in, they, they're not big enough to really clog the hole up. Uh, this material here, this slow side material is cuttable and controllable. So you can throw cut shots. And with this mixed fill, it has some movement. So I was able to shape shots, throw some cuts with it. I do think it's a bag that you can flop and roll. If you're an average or above average rollback player, you can definitely do that with this with this active fill in here, the stickiness of, it, of this material. I think you can really do that. So if you're looking to shape, if you're a carpet bag player and you're wanting to step out and get a non-carpet bag, but still be able to play a carpet style game, I think this is a great bag for you, especially if you go to blind draws and you draw an opponent who just refuses to throw a carpet bag. You could throw something like this as a compromise. You know, they can throw the fast side if they like a faster bag. You can still throw this and play it like a carpet bag and still get away with it that way. So all in all, I, I think there is a market. I mean, obviously there is a market for this bag because th th these bags are out there. It's not my favorite bag. It's not a bag that I would probably ever pull out and play because it just doesn't fit my style. But again, for those of you who look for bags that are not as floppy, this Tyrant maybe what you're looking for in there. Leads me to availability of this bag. The, the uh, Titan has a website, titancornholbags.com. Bags are available on there. Uh, they're just starting to roll out the 2024 bags. And I I, I didn't look. I, 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 I'm I pretty sure the Tyrant still made the cut for the 2024 season. I'll have to, by the time this releases, the, the, the new bags will be out. Um, but these bags are ACL Pro Stand for 2023. I'm assuming they would Pro Stand for 2024 as well. If I find out they aren't before I release this, I'll make an update. If not, just know that I released this before. I uploaded this before the 2024 season starts. I wasn't sure on that. Anyway, TitanCornerBags.com. Bags are on the website there. They're, they were running 80 bucks for a set of bags. Plus, it's, it's like $10 or so shipping on there. So $90 or so ship to you for an ACL stamp bag is not bad. It's it's kind of that meet mid to lower price range on there. Titan also runs sales all the time. They're having all kinds of sales. So follow their their social media, their Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. As well as you follow some of their pro players. Their pro, pro players also have discount codes that'll save you. I think it's like like five percent or something for if you use the pro player codes. But every little bit helps. All right. So check those out. To all, it's a solid bag. Not my favorite bag, but it's not a bad bag. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trash the bag. It it, it, it plays well for what it is. And if this is what you're looking for, I think you'll like it. If you throw the tyrant and you like it, I love to hear your I love to hear your feedback. Even if you don't like it, I always love hearing your guys' opinions. So share them with me. I thank you guys so much for your support and I thank you for watching.